So hey guys, this is Kirk again with another ROM review, and uh, this time I've got Avatar ROM. Okay, and this one is a really unique ROM, uh, which has both the functionality and minimalism of uh, Cyanogen mod CM and the theming capabilities of MIUI. So pretty awesome ROM. So let's get into it. Here is the lock screen which is of course themed. It is based on Android 4.3. Okay, for your information, let's go into the abouts about phone thing before I show any of you what the features are. Okay, here is the about phone. Android version is 4.3-9300 whatever. Okay. So memory here it is avatar ROM version nightly. Uh, 318 whatever okay latest version is 10.9 2013 version it is also a nightly version so uh, I'm guessing there's no much changes in that okay so build date build number everything there uh, it is based on Cyanogen mod 10.2 by the way so it has all the functionality of Cyanogen mod all the settings of Cyanogen mod available so yeah there it is, there they are, status bar, all of that. Mm, guys more know about this, right? So I'm not going to get much into it. Okay. Now about the features of this ROM. The main feature of this ROM is the theming ability. Okay. So uh let's just get to the theme chooser. Okay, here is the theme chooser. I have actually installed a few themes, okay. But before that, here this launcher what you're seeing here is uh, actually a modified version of the Trebuchet launcher which a lot with a lot of features so and this one is called the bazooka launcher yeah the name is bazooka launcher which is available at play store you can use it pretty neat launcher it has a lot of cool features let's see uh, uh, bazooka settings uh, let me just change the font a minute and uh, we'll continue just as a uh, matter of fact you can just key change the font and stuff okay I'll just change it to system theme so that we can read everything up here okay here is bazooka launcher here are the uh, settings for bazooka what you see the icon there is bazooka awesome <laughs> okay so uh, here it is okay uh, most of the functions are same as the trebuchet launcher but with a lot of extra features like uh, all of these gesture based uh, you know, uh, navigation settings etc full screen mode uh, more more things home screen all of these settings okay uh, that's about bazooka launcher okay I just like saying that name bazooka launcher that's awesome okay now uh, let's get into the theming ability okay here you see is the theme launch theme chooser okay this thing is kind of like a play store like a theme store uh, which is connected to a site called theme dot avatar dot com I don't I'm not sure but it is avatar roms theme gallery okay it is it has its own gallery of themes yeah here it is avatar themes all themes whatever you want pretty neat featured themes a lot of lot of themes so it does have a lot of themes okay most of them are ported from MIUI and uh, CM themes it works okay no problems it is CM based so CM themes do work if you want that MIU MIUI themes also work in this once it is ported okay it, ca it does have a uh, theme editor uh, you can download it off of their website avatar.com avatarrom.com I guess and you can use that so that's pretty neat pretty cool okay uh, it's re really simple to use it's it's got a lot of uh, features it's got a lot of options for you to edit like the colors etc etc everything like that so uh, more about theming the lock screen can be themed as you can see this is what I got when uh, it was first turned on so just showing you guys what <laughs> theming really means this is what you see first time you uh, start the ROM so here is a lock screen there are the things here is the launcher and icons changed okay 
theming in this ROM is a lot different than theme, uh, the themes in the Sanjin mod because Sanjin mod theming is kind of normal. Uh, it has uh, only the uh, icon changes and backgrounds or things like that. Not much deep, so <laughs> that's there. But uh, in uh, MIUI, theming is much uh, more deeper. Okay, it has a lot of theming options such as uh, status bar, um, the drop down menu. A lot of things can be changed. Font, boot animation, everything it can be changed. So in Avatar ROM also you can change boot animation, fonts, etc, etc, you can change everything of like that. So that's pretty much cool, but it isn't as far-fetched or as uh, huge as MIUI's theme, but it is great for what it is, so that's there. Now, uh, what else? Let me see. So we have done the theming part, okay, Bazooka Launcher, okay, uh, fonts, uh, something which they uh, take out and say is that the funds you can change the funds on the fly okay you don't have to restart anything and uh, that's pretty neat okay uh, let's see you can see the font right now right you, you just re read the coral blue that's normal font okay let's change just the font I'm changing just the font and there you go just the font is changed you can see that right pretty neat color blue that's pretty cool okay if it, it, the theming feature of this is off the charts it's really great it's really fast okay uh, another thing about this is that I have used MIUI for two days and I moved out of it because it was a bit slow for me um, a bit slower than what I'm used to so I just love this app because it is based on Sanjay Mod. it has the speed of Android AOSP so that's there so that's cool that's extremely cool okay you just saw the font uh, changing etc thing okay this thing uh, comes with an app called Weibo you can see Weibo is running I'm just going to change the font back to system font so that you can see what I'm doing because this font is pretty hard to capture on camera okay so uh, let's go to uh, Weibo you have seen the animation right that's pretty cool that's a lot of features it's real eye candy okay that's there now Weibo Weibo is this um, tasker like app which helps you to automate stuff okay uh, for example if you come home you want to use your home Wi-Fi connection okay you can have all that running like uh, location and you can have this right Wi-Fi on when I arrive at home just like that and edit you choose your uh, home location you just start tracking for four hours or 15 minutes whatever you the time you need and run around your house so that it fixes your house location so whenever you are in that circle your Wi-Fi gets activated so that's pretty cool like Tasker most of you if you have used Tasker app uh, you may be you may know what I'm talking about so that's pretty neat uh, so uh, another option I just found that uh, when my girlfriend texts me where reply automatically with my location yeah I would just cancel out that location part and just reply with I'm alive or something okay <laughs> those things you uh, can edit you can edit like you can edit that I guess yeah you can edit that so that's pretty good you can add new rules like here the option is new rule just rule name uh, and what uh, what condition should the rule be activated and uh, add the action to do when the rule is activated so that's pretty neat it has a lot of features it this has something called the layout theming I don't think it's actually built into this right now but they are developing it the avatar rom uh, developers are onto it okay it's something called a layout theming in which not just the icons or background or not just the uh, visual things it changes the way you interact with the phone okay like uh, I've saw, seen in a example that when you click the phone icon you have the normal dialer right you can even have a circle dialer you can just uh, 
spin it and call someone that's pretty cool it changes the layout of things so it will be really really cool to have that because you have a new experience with the same phone with the same OS so you don't have to change to anything else so that's pretty cool it uh, keeps the longevity of your user interface pretty neat awesome so uh, that's there now uh, layout theming as I've said I don't think it's uh, available right now you can test it out at that website okay you just go to the website and uh, click the layout theming option and uh, do that so that's there now uh, what else uh, theme editor I have talked about that uh, let's go into settings and uh, see if there are any more settings yeah you have seen these right these are uh, plain old Android settings 4.3 okay normal settings nothing too much fancy or something like that so uh, theme you, you have seen the theme store and a theme which I'm running right now okay uh, you can select anything else also apply it just changes it to that so that's the so here it is everything is changed even the text color uh, is changed it was pink in anathon theme so that's that okay uh, what else that is the main thing about this ROM this is really great ROM for those who use a lot of uh, theming in there so as I was saying this is a really neat ROM because it actually uh, enables you to use one ROM for a long time longer time than you would normally like if you were me I would be like changing ROMs on a daily basis or in within uh, one week I'll be using three or four ROMs so you have uh, this new user interface you have this new style so you don't want to change it you want to use it again so that's there uh, it has a lot of features like the CM should have okay so I guess that is it uh, let's, let's show you guys the boot animation which is really cool okay reboot so here is the boot animation of Avatar ROM. <laughs> so that's a really neat. Okay, uh, it has this mask of some kind with a uh, size in more ten star, nine star, something. Okay, whatever it is, it's cool, right? So um, yeah, that is about the Avatar ROM. It has a bevy of cool features. Uh, most probably, the theming is the best of them. Yeah, one more thing. The this is running the ink theme right now, and I did notice that the resolution of the icons are a bit on the lower side. So uh, yeah, just a warning. That's it. Okay. Uh, I guess then that is it. Hope you guys like the video, and um, please subscribe, like, and share if you really do. And see you guys later. Bye.